Good day to our thesis advisor and chairwoman, Engineer Helen Grace Garcia, and to the panelists, and also to the Dean of College of Technology, Dr. Alido Jean San Diego. I am Remy Civoleros and I would like to greet you all a pleasant day. We will be presenting our proposed study entitled Reverse Vending Machine for Polyethylene Therapylate Plastic Bottles, together with my co researchers, Ms. Mabel Fernandez, Mr. Arvi Oraliza, Mr. Zimran Salvado, and Ms. Kathleen May on site. So without further ado, let's proceed with the introduction. With the increasing amount of waste generated and limited landfill space for waste disposal, recycling is undoubtedly one of the important means to manage waste effectively. Millions of waste and useless materials are being compacted as garbage, having no proper waste disposal in the world every day. Even in most developed and industrial countries, only a small percentage is being subjected to the 3R mantra, reuse, reduce, and recycle. While the country has an 85 to 90% waste collection average rate in urban areas, it permits to less than 80% in rural areas. The autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao has collection rate of only 40%. Another contributor to the growing post-consumption plastic waste problem is the lack of a proper waste management infrastructure. The study highlighted care areas where plastics are leaked into the oceans, and this includes rural areas that do not have a proper waste collection method due to its low waste density, and high-density urban areas that are not able to cope with the influx of development. Statement of the problem. What design parameters should we consider to develop the development of a reverse vending machine for PET plastic bottles? What development and implementation strategy should we adapt to be utilized to ensure that the development of a reverse vending machine for PET plastic bottles? What evaluation parameters should we access in order to measure the performance and acceptability of the development of a reverse vending machine for PET plastic bottles? Objectives of the study To fulfill the main objectives, the following specific objectives should be met. To design a reverse vending machine that will be able to recognize if the material inserted is PET plastic or not. To develop a machine that will vend off equivalent amount after a successful transaction. To evaluate the reverse vending machine for PET plastic bottles in terms of the following A. Functionality B. Accuracy C. Cost effectiveness. Significance of the study. The study aimed to test whether the development of the RVM for PET plastic bottles alleviate problems in waste disposal and thus promote recycling among the students of University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines. We researchers also believe that this study would be beneficial to the environment and future researcher. Conceptual framework. This is our process flow which has an input, determine all the possible materials and equipment to use, collect all materials and equipments, gathering all data of materials and equipments, a process, a design a RVM, applying a various procedures as guidelines, develop a prototype for the RVM, evaluate the RVM, and output, which is a reverse vending machine for PET plastic bottles. Scope and limitation of the study. The machine will be confined to accepting PET plastic bottles only with the transparency of 88.8% up to 100%. In weight, 8.9 grams up to 24.5 grams. The machine has a bin that can hold plastic bottles. The machine will be able to vend off money appropriate to the number of plastic bottles inserted in the machine. The machine will be able to determine when it reaches the maximum number of plastic bottles inserted. Review of related literature. First is the local studies, microcontroller based solar powered reverse vending machine. This project consists of a P 
PIC16F84A microcontroller, two proximity range sensor, and the solar power system. The microcontroller is programmed by activated by the two sensors simultaneously. Second is the automated reverse vending aluminum can crusher. This project was able to attain high level of confidence in achieving the set of parameters for accepting the rejecting aluminum can inserted. This device ensured only empty aluminum cans will be accepted by the machine. Third is the towy powered microcontroller based plastic bottles drop on top reverse winding machine with stored value system using radio frequency identification scanner technology. This project controlled by microcontroller. This machine accepts bottles and credits business points which turn can be used to buy products. The machine was able to run on either commercial power or solar power. For the firing studies, here is Ms. Kathleen me on site. Thank you, RV, and now we will proceed to the foreign studies. First, we have the development of reverse vending machine using a recycled materials and Arduino microcontroller. In the University of Saints, Malaysia, they develop a vending machine. The function of it is to separate different materials found in waste streams and minimizing the amount of goods sent to landfills. The other one is the accuracy of sorting beverage cans and bottles for a reverse vending machine. This machine is consist of many sensors used when receiving cans into the system and in the checking system. Weight sensor or load cell and infrared sensor consist the checking system. There are many main parts that work simultaneously such as conveyor, lead controller set for incoming and outgoing can lead, can pressing, and the hinge set for can classification. The other one, we also have the development of reverse vending machine framework for implementation to a standard recycle bin. In this study, the focus is on operating the BPU by considering two types of recycle bins which are the plastic recycled bin and the other one, the paper recycled bin. Next is the research methodology to be discussed by Ms. Mibel Fernandez. Chapter 3 is all about the research methodology. The main purpose of this study is to develop, fabricate, and test a machine that accepts plastic bottles, specifically those made of polyethylene terephthalate and rewards the user after a successful transaction. So this is a reverse vending machine perspective design. It has a indicator lead, insert bottle slot, coin dispenser, reward button, and donate button. So this is the flow chart of our reverse vending machine. It is start, then insert bottle, the load so weights the bottle, the machine weights the bottle within the range of 8.5 gram to 24.5 gram. If the bottle does not meet the weight standard of the machine, the machine will automatically stop and then return the item. And if it meets the standard weight, the laser sensor determines the light intensity from the laser diode. And if the bottle is not transparent, the machine will stop and return the item. And if yes, the bottle will be dropped into the bin and counted. And after that, the system will calculate the reward and display it on the screen and ask the user whether to receive or donate the reward. If the user passes the yes, the machine will vend off equivalent reward and if no, the thank you message will be displayed on the screen. That's all. Thank you.